the end of the day, the two most valuable resources for everything you want in your life, it's not complicated, emotional states, energy, that's it, think about it. If you don't feel good, how are you gonna enjoy this thing we call life? If you don't feel good, people don't wanna be around you. And not to mention also, if you don't feel good, how are you gonna stop yourself from saying things you know you shouldn't be saying? It's almost a cliche, oh, I should have said this, I should have said that, but that's because you're not addressing the core. That's where all the concepts you're getting from the books, videos, maybe even your counselor, you got some great concepts, but no ability to execute. When you can control your emotions, that is the foundation for that. Again, just making everything very simple here. So the reason why you've probably looked back at your life and said, wow, things are not going the way I want, that's because you've never addressed the core before. But when you feel fantastic, that gives you all the, the odds in your favor to actually execute in the way that's, uh, that, that's gonna behoove you and your relationship. But at the end of the day, when you feel great, you're just good. And that's what everyone wants. So let's keep things simple here. But any process you're gonna do to resurrect yourself, your relationships, and your life has to start with that foundation. It does not matter what you know. All your concepts go out the window as soon as you feel fear, sadness, anger. As soon as you feel that stuff, what good are your concepts? They're worth nothing. So it does not matter what you know, it matters what you can do. And if you can't control your emotions, you effectively know zero. Any process you're gonna to do to you know, work on your relationships and your life needs to dress at the core. Number two, energy. Energy is the fuel for everything you're looking for. You know, how are you gonna make your dreams come true? How are you gonna make your relationship to the next level if you don't have any gas in the gas tank? Does that make sense? But that's not a concept, that's a skill, that's a conditioning. And by the way, on that note, a lot of people talk about mindsets and, uh, and beliefs. That's not really what they're looking for. If you think about it, how are you gonna have a mindset when you feel like shit? How's that gonna work out? Your ability to execute is a conditioning, it's the way you feel. The conditioning is actually what allows you to execute a mindset or execute a belief. Beliefs and, and mindsets alone, without the conditioning, without that energy, without that fuel, they're worthless. So at the end of the day, what everyone really wants is a conditioning. And again, that's a skill, that's a process, that's not, that's not a concept. And that's why my, the people that work with me, my clients that do the Refocus on Happiness program, they're good either way. Hey, some people get back together their exes, some don't, and most of them don't even want that person back. But when you feel great, it's a whole different level, not just for your relationships, but for your entire life. So let's kind of close up here. Two most valuable resources, energy and emotional states. When you feel great, you speak great. When you feel great, you just execute a completely different level. That's what makes all your techniques actually executable. Um, and if you, any, when, if any of you are dealing with stuff where you're trying to get you know, a, a job back, a business back, relationship back, you first have to get you back. And again, to get you back, that's conditioning. When you get you back first, and you're now at this level, people want to line up with you. Think about it. A lot of you are dealing with breakups and you're kind of in a rut, you're in a fog. No one wants to be around you. And you the decision to be in a relationship is an emotional decision. It's not logical. You know, you can't take a PowerPoint presentation and say, oh, you're going to want to be around me because of A, B, and C. It doesn't work like that. People either want to be around you or they don't based on how they feel when they're around you. So if you have a relationship that's not going so well, you have all the concepts in the world, but if you're not enjoyable to be around, Good luck with that, that's not gonna work out very well. You can have all the best qualities in the world, but if someone doesn't enjoy their experience with you, that's not gonna work out too well. But to get yourself back there, you can't concept your way there. That's a conditioning, that's, a, that's your ability to control the way you feel, okay? So again, uh, I'll kinda close on this note here. Steve Martin has a great phrase. He says, be so good at what you do, people cannot ignore you. I'm gonna show you such, I'm gonna make it so obvious what is available to you when you actually finally dress the core. And by the way, on that note, uh, again, this is this is a, a biological process. It allows you to rewire, recondition your brain like you re, well, like you recondition a muscle. I got doctors to do my program. Why do you think that is? A lot of you might have heard the idea of neuroplasticity, brain cells that fire together and wire together, but this is a true practical experience allowing you to recondition, rewire your brain like you recondition muscle. Same thing. And again, it allows you to keep moving at higher and higher levels. Um, but anyway, so bottom line is that is what addresses the core. That's what allows you to take your, your relationships and your life to levels you ultimately want to go. Anyway, enjoy it. I'm gonna make this so obvious for you in this, the end part of this video here, where you see a bunch of people that are just like you, uh, same situations. At the end of the day, no offense to you guys, but your, your situation is not as unique as you think it is. You have a brain that is capable of incredible things if you give it the right process, the right condition, the right stimulus. You have no idea what you're capable of. And again, at the end of the day, everything you've done is because you want to feel a certain way, but to feel a certain way consistently, that's a conditioning process, and that's why you're gonna to wanna to address the core. So enjoy the video, talk to you guys soon. Take care. It took discipline because mm -hmm. um, 
you know, you think of a million reasons to get sidetracked. Oh, well, this needs my attention or the work or whatever. I'm tired. Mm-hmm. You make excuses, but this it's just like your focus refocus. So I had to, and I'm the kind of person, if you say, okay, you can't do that. I'm going to do it. So, you know, it, for <laughs> me, it was like, this is okay. for my own good. I'm paying good money. Yeah, you yeah. know, I need to get my ass in here and I need to just do it. So from a self-discipline standpoint, just because I tend to, you know, like I, I could be lazy or just hard to, you know, discipline myself. But from that standpoint, but once I started seeing results and once I started in like feeling better and happy and that was within like, like the first day, mm-hmm. you know, three days, I was like, wow. <laughs> so, but what really did it for me is that, I mean, you're there. 110 percent like you said you're always there you're, you know I don't have to talk to you at all but knowing that you're there mm-hmm. and you know and, and the Tuesday calls you know I see you you know I see you talking to everybody you're there for them and I learn every time so and I'm being this is the most mind-blowing thing to me ever <laughs> it really is mm-hmm. in a great way so in that aspect it was easy because it was a natural flow I, I wanted to do good. I wanted to, you know, I, I'm a people pleaser. So I wanted to please you. I wanted to do great in the program. I wanted to do great for myself. So that was easy. I wanted to change my outlook. I wanted to change my daily routine. I wanted to become a better person. I wanted to start focusing on myself and not everybody else and everything else and just bring it all in and come back to me. So, um, because you can't give what you don't have. And I've spent mm-hmm. years being burned out, giving everything to relationships and jobs and family and you name it. Awesome. And, and on that note, like to anyone listening here, you can't speak what you can't feel. If you don't right. feel good, you don't speak good. If you don't feel good, you don't make such good decisions. And that's why most people stay on that same pattern forever and ever. And, uh, and I, I think, tell me if this is fair though, to say, I tell people and tell me if this is accurate here, the process is actually simple and straightforward. You just do what I ask you to do and you'll, you'll get to where you want to go. But it's not easy. It is fucking hard. On that note, I, just, to be, just to get full transparency, you know, we, I would say almost everyone does a program. There's at least one point in the program where they have a little bit of a blip. And it's not really a blip. It's more like a, a really challenging week or so. It happens to almost everybody. But it's, 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 it makes sense so because, you know, when most – it's like in a workout. If you start working out and you start training your muscles, eventually you get to a point usually where people start thinking they're plateaued or whatever. And it's like – I have to be there for them because they understand to help them move through that process and understand you're not plateaued. It's just part of the challenge. So, you know, for everyone that goes through the process, yes, it's, it's simple and straightforward, but it's challenging. And you and I had one of those actually, you know, not too long ago where it was like, right. it was actually a good thing, but I'm there to help you through it. So you can see you, you, you got this. All you have to do is continue to follow that recipe. But so sure, simple, straightforward, but not easy. And that's why I work closely, you know, with you and everyone, because I understand, you know, this is a, a new experience and you need, you need that kind of supporting guy, just like, just like a, like a, a great coach in, in sports, right? Like, like your background, like, you know, in, uh, you know, um, playing sports in college, you have to have a really great coach who understands and understands the progression and can take you through those, those waypoints as you hit them. And part of that is, that again, at the end of the day, this was not easy. It was not a magic trick, true biological <laughs> process. Um, you know, and with that said, you know, that that's what I'm there for. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you can attest to anyone listening here. The 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 process itself was simple, it was straightforward, but mm-hmm. it was hard work. And yeah, every almost everyone who does the program will experience at least a week or so where things are a little bit of a struggle. But that but that's why I'm there. I'm there for that because I understand that's gonna happen for almost anyone. It's almost like it's in the, the funny thing is it's almost like it's, it's, it's predictable. Someone will have such great momentum the first week or two. And then at a certain point might be week three, week four, like maybe this is too good to be true. <laughs> and they'll start, mm-hmm. you know, second guessing it to some degree, but it's, it's not. And I'll just, I'll just support them through that period. So they realize like, you know, I can, I can, I can, I can relax. I'm, I'm good. Right. I got this. I have some real momentum. Cause what, you know, what I always remind people at the very end, and I'm sure this will be good for you too. You know, Mary, look, look what you and I did in just a few weeks. You know, right. I mean, sure. I'm not saying, and to anyone listening here, doesn't mean things are perfect, but we've yeah. got some fucking real momentum here. And yeah. the fact that you have that momentum and you did it at one of the most challenging periods of your life. If you were able to do that, then 
it's fucking uphill from here. I mean, the, the clouds are starting to part ways and you, you can see the sun. It's like it's a straight shot. But if you did the hardest part, you have every reason to know as a logical person, sure, it's still going to be challenging, but but it's a straightforward path. And that's what I, I, you know, that's what I think it's important for people to know. It's like, yeah, just like all workouts, no workout. Workout by definition is hard, but it's when you have a straightforward path to get where you want to go and to keep going, that's a great place mm-hmm. to be. But in short, not easy. <laughs> <laughs> straightforward not easy um mm-hmm. so let me ask you so how do you feel about your so now that you have what you have and again just anyone listening again there were some challenges along the way that's okay that's part that's part of any kind of process but now how do you feel about your future mary how do you feel about your ability to handle navigate and execute um you know in uh, in in relationships and in your life with the tools you have now it's it's black and white it's completely different i feel um i'm able to handle anything and i don't give a fuck you know what anybody (laughs) thinks or says good 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 okay good i like the way you said that that was fantastic yeah work relationships it's true it's just like you spend well i did and uh i know and a lot of other you know people in the program it's like you seem to it's like you spend your life sometimes trying to please people and make things happen and work and now i can just sit back and relax and if somebody wants to be in my life they'll be in it if they don't bye bye fuck them you know (laughs) yeah yeah Yeah. i mean we'd we'd love and respect we'd love it we'd love and respect Okay, but yeah, exactly, we get the point. We, you and I understand. And someone listening back, I'm like, what the fuck are they talking about? But you understand. <laughs> we love, we love and respect. Right, right. Real quick, is, Mary, this that, is a core. Would you agree? This is a course focused on gratitude and joy. Or would you agree? Yes. Okay. Uh, anyone listen here? We, we that's tongue in cheek. <laughs> okay. Yes, good. absolutely. Love, gratitude, joy, happiness, and self love. You know, not like taking care of everybody, but loving yourself first and taking care of yourself first. So you show up as the best person you can be for other people in your exactly. world, you know, and, and I'm happier at work. I'm happier when I wake up, I'm happier with other people. I have more to give, I have more to offer. And if I don't feel like it, I don't have to, I can just stay cocooned in my little world and, and do what makes me happy and take care of myself first. Just lock the world away. And uh, I just think that I'm much stronger as an individual as um, I just, I see things differently now. Whereas I told you before, I felt like my emotions were kind of like the ocean. They just Mm -hmm. ebbed and flowed. And like, Mm -hmm. you know, sometimes they're a tidal wave crashing and I just felt like I had no control. Now I do. That's a, that's a, that's pretty uh, accurate statement. And I'll, I'll just have one last question, but that's, that's really what this does. Most people live their whole life in an emotional fog. And again, you yep. can't you can't speak how you don't feel. When you feel like crap, you, you speak crap. When you when you when you feel like yep. when you feel like crap, you just see like fog lenses. You don't see things mm-hmm. and people for how they really are. And because you feel crappy, you're like pretty much like just trying to reach on to anything, like these like life-saving branches because you feel in such a bad place. But when you feel fantastic, mm-hmm. then you speak differently, people <laughs> make different decisions, yep. and all of a sudden you're already, you're on the top of the mountain. So you don't, you're not, you're not just yep. reaching for things. And that's, that's a whole different mm-hmm. world. And, and really where that comes what one of the biggest benefits is because you, you're out of that emotional fog. It's literally like most people live their whole life where it's, it's, they're essentially drugged. They're on those, yep. they're on those, those, uh, those, uh, um, you know, that emotional roller coaster. And when you're in that emotional roller coaster, you don't see things for how they really are because you're in fear, you're in sadness. You're not going to see the truth for who someone really is, what they represent for you. But all of a sudden you feel really great for the first time you can really see. And then, and that actually allows you love and respect to say, you know what, this person's good for me. And this person is not. So that's, yeah. that's really what that uh, uh, really allows you to do. So, so just one last question, right? This has been great. One last uh, uh, question. Um, uh, okay. So if you, which we all do, if you knew somebody that was uh, going through something similar to you, and, you know, maybe they've been on the, you know, the, the research bandwagon for some time, and they're just really not doing so well. And that person is, doesn't know you, doesn't know me, but they're watching this call and you know you have a chance to um, make a real difference as far as getting them to uh, go about it in a way that is beyond the conventional wisdoms, we'll just say. What would you tell somebody who's, who's going through what you're going through and they're watching this video and they're, and they're actually, and, but they're almost considering doing that conventional method versus maybe in their, in their eyes, rolling the dice. What would you say to somebody who, 
is now being privy to maybe just maybe there's a better way to do this. Don't waste another second. Don't waste another penny. You know, don't. Uh, I, I waited a whole year, you know, because I'm very analytical and, you know, I have to have proof and evidence. And and I I I just think how much farther along I would be had I, you know, started a year ago. I, I'm happy that I did it more than anything. Just do it. Because there's no pair of shoes, there's no man, there's no food, alcohol, <laughs> yeah. drugs, none of it. None of it is going to make you happy. You have to depend on you to make you happy. And Lance, he is the, I don't want to say, yeah, I was going to say Lance is the tool. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. But Lance it sounds a little program okay. is, the proper, <laughs> is the proper tool, oh my gosh, is the proper tool for this and I mean don't wait another second I mean don't wait another second I would do it all over again in a heartbeat just do it just do it there's nothing I know for the rest of my life there's nothing I'm ever going to do that's been well worth the money spent well worth the time spent and I mean everything has changed everything and you owe it to yourself more the bottom line you owe it to yourself and and here is Lance that's willing to do this and stick with you 110 percent and I just, the things that I learned, it just blows my mind and I'm grateful and I'm thank, I, I'm so happy, you know, that you called me and we had the first conversation because I was skeptical, but I mean, you know, people don't know what they don't know. And I've heard it all before. And I was like, well, you know, but there was something that just rang true with you, you know, heart to heart, soul to soul, and you care and you give it 110%. And I'm impressed with the, the way everything has gone. Every, I've not heard one thing that I, I disputed or had a discrepancy with and all your dealings with everybody that I've seen or heard or been a part of, just do it, just do it. You owe it to yourself and the world to be your best version of yourself possible. And Lance can get you there. <laughs>